Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Wells Knight's Realm. And in today's episode, well, today's episode is a very special episode of Wells Knight's Realm because today marks the 50th episode of this series. Don't worry, the series is not ending. There are many more episodes of this series to come, but we're going to celebrate 50 episodes by basically just doing a tour of everything we've built so far uh, and all that kind of good stuff. Normally, I only put up a world download every 20 episodes, but this is going to be a special occasion, so I will put a world download in the description for you guys as well. Uh, one of you asked in the last episode if I could share the seed, so there it is. There's the seed, just in case, uh, if you haven't gotten it yet. But here we are at the starter house, where everything all kind of began, and spawn itself, I think, is down... It's pretty close to here. I don't remember exactly where it is. It's like in the river somewhere. Uh, but it's right in this general area, and then there's this big mountain right here, and there's the coordinates. Um... So, when we first started, we basically just built a starter house, and this was where everything started. Now, let's go ahead and head into the nether, and I'll show you the other really important stuff. So, between episodes... Oh, by the way, there's some mines down here. I'm not going to take the time to explore them, because they're just branch mines, really nothing fancy. But, between episodes one and two... I did a ton of work off camera, did a whole bunch of grinding for resources, got diamonds, got some farms going, all that kind of good stuff. And I did that, there's the nether portal, I did that this direction. Uh, if we follow these torches, and there's something I've been working on, but if we follow these torches, they will eventually come to another portal right over here. And this portal is where I did pretty much all of my early game grinding for resources between episodes. Uh, I did all of this entirely off camera. I don't know if this has even been shown on camera at any point in this series. It may have been. I think I was here briefly. But through this little area, we've just got some planes, uh, some random storage chests and things like that. There's a little shack here with a bed. Mine's down there. And then some farms, just wheat and sugarcane and cows, so that I could get enchanted stuff. Not really a whole lot to see here, but the coordinates are as shown on the screen. Um, and that was between episodes one and two. And I came back in episode two after building that starter house with basically all full gear, everything ready to go, uh, so that we could jump right into building. Uh, while we're over in this direction, we could also take a look at, um, something else. I believe over this way, there is a mesa biome, if I remember correctly. I'll know in a second. Let's see here, because I marked it. We got kind of this derpy little nether tunnel system. Uh, which is still very much a work in progress. I'll show you some of the work on that. But yeah, right here, there's a mesa biome through here uh, where you can go and gather clay. Well, let's take a look at that real quick. Um, in other news, snapshots still coming out. I am in the latest snapshot um, as of the time of this recording. And yeah, mesa biome and a desert. So it's here. I just marked it because I might need the resources at some point. Uh, actually, we might grab some of this red sand. That could be very helpful for our desert build. Yeah, we might we might use some red sand some red sandstone stairs and things like that because we're kind of going uh, with orange as a highlight color in that village. That'd be pretty cool. But anyway, I'm gonna head this way for a little bit, and I will be back in just a second. All right, guys, I am back in the Mesa biome straight through this path. Here's the little starter house right here. And let's just head back into our nether system because I am trying to kind of orientate you to the world as to where everything is so that when you download it, you can find stuff. Uh, but through this tunnel, this will take us to a bunch of different nether portals. We've got one down here. I believe this is a dark oak forest. I think. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. Um, spruce. Oh, no, no, no. This is a village. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is this is a village, and our starter house is actually like right up over there. Uh, so we have a little village here with NPCs, um, just marked in case I need villagers for something later. I'm not generally the most technically minded person, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, you know, it is what it is. Through here, this goes to the uh, the stronghold and the end. We have an Enderman farm in there. I suppose we can pop in, and we should probably take a look at that. Well, we're doing the tour since that was a couple of episodes of work, uh, working on the big Enderman farm. But if we go through here and pop in, it's straight over this way. We did kill the Ender Dragon uh, in the snapshots. Actually, we did the uh, the 1.9 Ender Dragon fight, um, and I think we actually did the uh, the old 1.8 Ender Dragon fight as well. I think we did both. Because uh, I remember respawning the Ender Dragon. But this is our Enderman farm. Um, I've heard that it's kind of broken now, but I see Enderman falling like crazy. So I am I have a feeling it's not as broken as I heard it was. Um, I, someone told me that uh, the 1.9 snapshots were going to make Endermites no longer work. But as you can see, it seems to be working pretty well. I mean, these guys are spawning like crazy. Um, the problem, this farm is definitely not quite as good as it used to be, because you can't just spam click anymore. Um, you can, you know, it kind of works, but it's not, it's certainly not as good as it was, uh, previously. But it's, it's a very good source of experience, and a great source of ender pearls as well. So, uh, that's the Enderman farm. I'm gonna head back to the nether, guys, and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. Alright guys, we're back in the nether, and here's the Enderman farm right here. Going farther down that tunnel, that corridor, um, and I wish I had a minecart, because that would go faster, but heading farther down, we come to this portal, and through this portal, I don't think I've actually built anything, but this, I believe, is the dark oak forest that I was talking about before. Yeah, here we go, so this is where I get pretty much all my dark oak from. Um, haven't built anything over here. Once again, this is just kind of a resource portal. Just in case. But then, very soon after that, we come to the more developed area of the nether. This is where I've actually been doing a lot of work kind of between episodes. This is mostly all off-camera stuff, building this design. Uh, although the design itself we did come up with during an episode. Through here is... The project that has taken the majority of our time in this series, and that is our rustic village with our beautiful Christmas tree that we built last episode. Uh, that's going to come down after Christmas, by the way. Someone uh, commented and said something along the lines of, it's going to look really out of place after Christmas is over, but don't worry, it will come down after Christmas. It's just me getting in the holiday spirit. We got our barn, we got farms, we've got all sorts of good stuff here. Each of these buildings serves a purpose of some sort for the most part. We got a warehouse in here for random items that don't really fit in anywhere else. We have a mansion right here. This is, I think, the largest build in the village. We actually finished this just a couple episodes ago. Um, I had built it a while ago, and then I just never actually finished the interior. So we finished the interior on this bad boy, uh, I believe, two episodes ago, something like that. Um, and then over here, we have our little enchanting house. Uh, it's getting late. Let's take a nap quick. We've got a house here built. Um, this is just kind of a residential house. And this is built for uh, McIntyre Sutterberg, one of my patrons on... Uh, on my Patreon page. Uh, in here, we've got our little enchanting house and stuff like that. We've got a little potion area over here. This is where we store gear and weapons, like, you know, tools and armor and stuff like that. And then right here, this is the House of Patrons. So everyone who supports me on Patreon has a little statue here and a sign with their name on it. Uh, this is actually going to have to be changed very soon because if you can't see, I'm pretty much out of space, <laughs> which is awesome. And I'm, I'm kind of amazed by that, but uh, that's going to have to change pretty soon. We've got our little shrine here for our Ender Dragon. Um, I've actually got relatively well-developed mines down here with a... Uh, a system that actually brings the gathered materials back up. Uh, we spent an episode or two on this early on. 
and it does look very, very pretty, I think. The, I love the texture variation in the walls. But these are our mines in our rustic village. Not a whole lot to see there. Now, on the other hand, there have been some changes made over the course of the series to the rustic village. Originally, right where the nether portal is now, there was actually a little house there uh, that was just a really kind of derpy starter house looking thing. I think it was called like a builder's cabin or something like that, which we built very, very early on. Uh, but I tore that down and made a proper nether portal thing. Over here, we've got two more warehouses. This one is for stone, uh, cobblestone, andesite, you know, etc., etc. And... That's why it's built entirely out of stone. And then over here, we have our lumber warehouse for all of our wood and stuff like that. If you guys, if you guys had any idea how much time I spend between episodes just chopping wood and gathering resources, oh man. Um, in here, we have our automated smeltery. So you put stuff that you want smelted up in this chest. Coal goes in these two side chests and then it all feeds through down into here. I'm smelting up nether brick right now so that I can work on um, the nether tunnel a bit more. Heading up this way, we've actually got some landscaping and a nice path. Most of this landscaping was actually done by hand as far as all of these, um, all the grass and the flowers and the stuff like that. Oh, there's a big watchtower up there. I forgot to mention that. Um, but heading this way, this takes us to our skeleton farm, which is a very useful thing to have because... Obviously, bone meal, especially when you're talking about like landscaping and growing trees and stuff like that, bone meal is a very useful thing to have and to have a lot of. And it's nice to have another mob grinder for experience in case I don't want to go all the way to the end. But all this landscaping was done um, pretty much by hand. We've got the uh, little bridge here that heads over this kind of valley. Um, and then the skeleton farm we actually spent a while working on as well. This is one of the more technical builds that I think I've ever done. Um, I used a design from a uh, another Minecraft YouTuber called Let's Play Willy, and I used his skeleton farm design for all the redstone guts because I, just to be blunt, I don't know enough about redstone to make it myself. But behind these walls, there's all sorts of fancy redstone stuff that I don't really understand how it works. Um, and then we've got our little skeleton farm here. And we can turn it on and off, and we throw potions in, and it's beautiful. Uh, but that is pretty much everything that's through the Rustic Village portal. I'm going to go ahead and head back into the nether, and I'll be back with you in just a moment. Alright guys, I am back, and there is one thing that I forgot to show in our little Rustic Village tour. Uh, we didn't take a look at the tower up close, but you can see it from down here. Uh, this is our redstone storage facility, and honestly, this is probably my least favorite thing that I've built in this entire world. I just haven't decided what I'm going to replace it with yet, um, but I really don't like this build. It's ugly, the colors are nasty looking, and it's just not a very good build. So, just goes to show that sometimes... Sometimes you make something and it just it just doesn't come together the way that you want it to. Um, but I'm going to have to replace that at some point. Anyway, let's go ahead and head into the desert village. Um, I actually just finished, right before I started recording this episode, I just finished this portion of the nether tunnel. Uh, this has been sitting unfinished for quite a while. But heading this direction at the end of this hallway... There's the nether portal that takes us into the desert village, which is what we've been working on for probably about the last 10, maybe 15 episodes or so. I think it's been about 10 episodes. Um, but we've been working here and going for an entirely different architectural so uh, style. We've got our little nether portal room here. And then coming up this way, we've got our little starter house that we built just so we have a place to sleep at night and things like that. We've got some docks over here. Oh, and that reminds me, a lot of you guys have been saying, hey, you should put some ships in the docks, and I definitely will. That is that is absolutely going to be a thing. We will have ships that are docked in the harbor uh, to come and trade their goods with the Desert Village. We have a lighthouse that we built up here a couple episodes ago um, that actually has big flames up there. This is kind of like a, it's kind of a watchtower slash beacon lighthouse type thing. Uh, in here we have our warehouse where we store pretty much everything that needs to be stored. 
And then we've got a little agricultural area over here with some irrigation and things like that. Um, I've been playing around with some of the kind of fence designs, and I haven't I haven't decided yet, but I think this is better than what I had originally had. Um, but that's pretty much it as far as what's in the world currently. Then again, 50 episodes. I think we've got quite a lot done in that time, uh, considering we have two full villages. Well... This one's not really even close to done, but we've got two villages, we've got a skeleton farm, we have the Ender the Enderman farm, we've got a starter house, actually we have like three or four starter houses it seems like, all sorts of good stuff. But guys, I think that is pretty much going to do it for this episode. As I said, there is a download in the video description, so check that out if you want. Uh, you will need to be in snapshot 15w51b or higher. Uh, in order to play the world, so keep that in mind. Um, but, yeah, that's it for me, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links to that in the video description down below, so check that out as well. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.